lying about medical school. I've been lying about medical school to my family and friends for the last two years. Oh, I'm no. Uh, he's 23. This is understandable. He's probably, no, I'm, he's I'm not guess- 15 and lying about, you know. Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. Jesus. Nia, Jesus. Can you give the, can you give the kid a, at 23, Nia, like if you saw how introverted I was at 23, mm-hmm. you know, what compared to the glorious social butterfly that you are today? <laughs> Jesus, you are on fire. <laughs> Listen, I like who I like. Okay. I like, I don't like, you know, I just don't like those big parties. You got to stand there. <laughs> And eyebrows up. Oh, yeah. Is that what you do? You know, well, it did rain yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> You're not good at small talk is what it is. It's pointless. And then in a little party conversation. I got to come up with some sort of thing to just say. And just when they look and you feel the same thing, just be like, dude, don't feel you don't have to talk to me. We don't have to do this. That sounds like a great way to make somebody feel comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> no, if they know, you know what I mean? These fucking we don't have to do this. We can just sit here. And enjoy the quiet until our wives come over <laughs> and drag us back into that. <laughs> and you just click your drinks. That's actually, and you it would just, definitely work between men. That's so funny. Yeah. I would love to. I used to, to do a bit about, I used to talk about you, you on stage when you come up. Hey, everything okay? Like, I always end up drifting into a corner at these parties. And you're the social butterfly going around. Everybody fucking loves you. And I'd just be standing in the corner drinking a Miller. Right. And, and, but the, see, okay. and then you come over and just be like, is everything okay? I just, you're in the, I feel like you're avoiding the party. Yeah. It's I like, was I am. You in the beginning when I was getting to know you. And then I realized, you know, what a wildly, you know, dazzling personality you can be at social gatherings. <laughs> and I just let you do your own thing. And then I do my thing. And then what happened? You always say that I abandon you at parties. No, that was early. Early on. That was weird to me. That I would just That you just, and... hey, and you'd break off. <laughs> and I'd be like, what the? I'm used to someone being on my hip. And they would just nah. be like, and it's a challenge. So, so, so. so at first it weirded me out. And then I, and then I was like, wait a minute. This is perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You go around. You go around the room and be like, oh, look at you. You lost weight. <laughs> you, you do all that. You find what is in this? What is in this? <laughs> oh, my God. This is deli- Hey, Bill. Come on over. Try this, and I'm in the corner, like no, no, all set. You find the one other guy at the party that likes sports, and you guys end up talking all night. It's perfect. It really is perfect. It's the perfect arrangement. I usually, I you know, what's nobody's great. feelings get hurt. We have we have very independent social lives. I think that's important. Yeah. You know, I fucking <laughs> I go over. The, I I find the room nobody's in. And I just stand there. I know you always want to sit down. Yes. <laughs> What are we standing up for? But you know what? I don't like this. I don't like the stand either during part. Anyway, we have to get back to the question. Watching all the fucking couples competing with each other. Yeah. And all the dumb shit that then. Oh, what are you? And you see the fucking woman jealous of her bag, and then you see <laughs> talking in his eye, and then he's sitting there go, Oh god, now I gotta buy a fucking bag. <laughs> gotta buy a fucking bag because Susie Q's got the fucking yellow one. Fucking hate her. She's so she's skinny, right? She's skinny. You know that's a nightmare chick. And then you drive home. You got to convince, you got to convince the woman you're with that you didn't want to fuck anybody there at the party. Oh yeah, she was too skinny for me. Yeah, she should have put. She should have left something to the imagination. Thank God her tits were hanging out. Fucking. And and it was a was, great yeah. thing to look at and while yeah, I was in the middle of that awful conversation. Another example of why having independent social lives is so great because I don't invite you to shit because I know <laughs> that you're not going to be into it. So I don't even invite you. You did forever. I did. And then I stopped and I was like, yeah, do you want to go to blah, 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 yeah, blah. And I'd be like, anymore. no. And then you would always go, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking whore. I, I died a thousand deaths and i and oh, i Bill, no can i tell you something give me a fucking break you uh, died a thousand deaths because i invited you to parties because i want to spend time with you they, oh they, just hang you up on that cross it's so hard the, the things that you went to what the fact that they were called parties is an absolute As insult to what standing to around with word. you and all your bonehead comedian friends while you insult each other for three hours that's like supposed to be something amazing i've never called that a party, party. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's certainly not <laughs> it is not a party. what did i say what did i say when you and uh joe de rosa and keith robinson were gonna have dinner and you were like oh you can come if you want to and i said who's going <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It was going, like, no. Nope. Yeah. And you were smart. Then went mm-hmm. to this beautiful fucking great steakhouse, <laughs> ate this unbelievable food, and all we did was sit there and make fun of Keith's fucking sweater. And then the waitress came over and had the best insult. Because Keith was defending the sweater, uh-huh. and then she comes over and we go, "What do you? Hey, excuse me, Miss." And she already knew that we were, we were jerk offs, and we just said, "What do you think of when you look at Keith's sweater?" And she goes, "Freddy Krueger." Oh, and it God. was, and it was, and it was such a Freddy Krueger. It was that Thanksgiving colored, th- thick striped fucking sweater. Oh, I was great, and he had to just sit there and take it, and that that made my meal. And she said, "Do you want dessert?" I said, "No, you just gave it to me, sweetheart." Sorry. <laughs> Um, all right. So he says, I've been lying about my medical school to my family and friends for the last two years. I'm 23. I have aspired to be a doctor ever since moving to the United States when I was 10. I crushed it in high school without really studying, graduated, graduated as, <laughs> sorry, I already go to Salutarian and I fuck, graduated as Salutarian. I don't even know what that means. Is that number one in the class? Two. Oh, Jesus Christ. Valedictorian is number one. Oh, salutatorian is number two. What's yes. what's the bronze? I don't know. Um, Maybe so, just the class president or something. They didn't ascend that high academically, but socially they were popular enough to get voted oh, yeah. as president. I was in the supplemental draft. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I had an ego trip going into college and decided to push myself in order to get into the top tier medical schools. By junior year... I was double majoring, working in a research lab, and teaching, uh, how do you say that word? Recitation. What the fuck is that? A recitation session of my own. Do you know what that is? I don't. So how do you know that's how you say it? Busted. What is it? Why don't you, why don't you sound it out? Do I have to like help you like a child in school learning words? Bust. Sound it out. Rest, uh, t- see, look, recitation. Okay. What else would it be? I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and neither do you. How do you know it's not recitation? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, on my own, uh, 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 wait a minute, a recitation session of my own on top of volunteering in the ER as an EMT during off hours. Wow. Uh, I'm going to say this dude burned himself out. To make a long Probably, story yeah. short, I overextended myself. My, but by graduation, my GPA sank so low that no United States medical schools would ever consider my application. I was too ashamed to admit this to my family and friends who have always considered me as smart as the smart one of the bunch. Mm. For two years after graduation, I've been lying about working full time and applying to medical school, but rarely, but barely missing the cut. Or at least you're. Oh, you've been lying that you have that. Oh, about working full time and applying to medical school. Barely, oh, so that's what's really going on. You're working full time and you keep missing the cut. In reality, I am working. Oh, in reality. Oh, that is what you're doing. Sorry. In reality. Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> It's the reason I'm a clown for a oh, living. Oh, this is torture how long it's taking you to get through this. <laughs> In reality, I am working part-time, secretly taking classes to improve my GPA and have never applied. This lie has gotten so elaborate that I have been making application-sized credit card payments to a credit card my parents don't know I own So if they review my bank statements, it actually looks like I have been applying. What? The burden of keeping the truth to myself, and it's gotten so bad that I'm actually starting to feel a disconnect from my family and friends. First question, should I come clean or should I just keep up the lie until I get into medical school? Second question, is it even worth pursuing this dream anymore? By the time I improve my GPA, I'll be 25 plus four years of medical school plus three years of residency. I'll be 32 by the time I have my first day at work. That's still pretty young, dude. I would love to take your advice to heart. I think you're far more insightful than any of us. No compliments here. Oh, he came out of it. He goes, I think you're far more insightful than you give yourself credit for, but you're still a balding ginger. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. Got to keep you honest over there. All right. He's a good shit. Um, hmm. I would definitely come clean because this is fucking eating away at you and your brain and it's making you, you live in a double life here. I would definitely do it. And you, if, if it still really is your dream, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Who cares how long it takes? But something tells me that I didn't this graduate isn't... regular, regular college until 25. Yeah, that's true. Um, and it doesn't, I don't know. I get the feeling that he actually doesn't want to be a doctor anymore. What? Hell, I didn't see that. Where, where did you I see mean, that? I don't know. I'm in I don't know either. That. What do you think? Because um, I just feel like, 
I don't know. I just feel like he or she is um, probably he, though. I just feel like the way it's written as a guy. I just feel like, yeah, maybe you got burned out and really you don't, maybe you don't want to do it anymore. Is there a possibility that there's other things that you want to do? But either way, no, you shouldn't lie anymore because, and it's not so much about other people. It's like you were saying, it's, it's about you. It's how it's eating you up inside and yeah. making you feel disconnected from your family and friends. That's not good. Like, they, they love you. You no know what I think what. it really comes down to? <clears throat> they don't want you to be miserable, hopefully. This guy's academically George Foreman right before he fought, uh, fought Ali, where he just never lost, never got knocked down. And then when Ali knocked him down, mm -hmm. he said years later that he could have got back up, but he'd never been there before. Mm -hmm. And I think this dude was crushing it without fucking trying because he was so smart. And then it got a little hard and uh, he's dealing with um, like uh, dealing with a couple of losses. Mm -hmm. You got to turn it around, dude. It's not a, you're not even fucking 23 years old, dude. That's way too young to pack in. Your, uh, look at it this way. This is how I always looked at it, all right? You're 23, all right? You're saying by the time you get through all this bullshit, you're going to be 32. What would you rather be at 32? 32, not a doctor, or 32, just became a doctor, if that's what you want to do, all right? Because someday, dude, you're going to look at 32 years of age and be like, Jesus, I was a kid. I was a fucking kid. I still had it all ahead of me, and you do. So stop being so hard on yourself. Come clean. Mm -hmm. because it seems like it's it's you tur you're turning yourself into a bit of a sociopath here um yeah because two years is a long time and the fact that you're making these payments yeah, to, like the credit that. card and stuff that's a little much yeah so what think? are you doing like buying flat screen tvs to be like oh that's for this and then you yeah get that's a little <laughs> yeah that's that's taking it too far i mean <laughs> he takes the tv and throws it over the backyard <laughs> fence <laughs> Yeah, there's really no need to get this elaborate with it. You, let's let's scale back before you do anything and here's the too thing. crazy. As upset as your parents get, at some point, you guys are all going to laugh at it. You're all going to laugh at it. The shit that my parents laugh at, the stuff that I fucking did. You know, I got arrested for drinking and driving. I've never seen my mother have a more disappointed look on her face. She still rolls her eyes, but when I tell the story, she laughs now. She laughs. They'll get over it. Mm -hmm. All right? They'll get over it. Okay. But, uh, you know, I just, if you still want to be a doctor, dude, the fact that you'd be a doctor at 32 would be fucking amazing. Yeah, of course. Like Being, how many becoming a doctor, doctor is fucking amazing. It's so if, hard. If you want to do it. If you want to do it. Oh my God, it is so hard. It's so hard, you guys. No, because he was saying, I'm, <laughs> what did he say? I'm working part-time. I'm, like, I'm secretly working part-time. Part -time, secretly taking classes doctor. to improve and have never applied. Um, hmm. Do you like working part time though? And what are you working at? Because I, I I feel like there's something else that he's interested in doing. Well, okay, maybe so something parents is telling him to me. Do that? Yeah, like I know he wants. He says he wants to be a doctor, and I don't doubt that. But I bet. What if there's something else that might be even more interesting? And I don't know. Not <laughs> make you turn into a person that has to make up a, a, a second life. I don't. You know I, I, mean? I don't know the way I read it. I don't think he ever had to. I think he just put too much pressure on himself. Oh yeah, that's true too. I think his parents will be fine with it. Absolutely. And if they're not, then they're not your real parents. That's right. They're not your real parents. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say that if they don't agree, then you're not your real friends. But, no. but your mental, like, emotional well-being is, is way more important than uh, medical school, I feel like, ultimately. Right? Uh, I wasn't listening to you. I was already looking at the next question. <laughs> 